Hi, I'm Trudy Tapscott. And hi, I'm Britt Bergmeister. And some of the important things about modeling in New York City, I, I guess, you know, from an agent perspective is, you know, preparation and, and knowing, you know, what to do um, and having someone who's going to help you and having housing. There's so many specific things about New York that, you know, I don't know what your experience was. Yeah, but. definitely. It's good to be prepared. There's a lot of, um, New York is very fast paced. Um, you have to go in confidently and, you know, everyone's trying to go do their own thing. So it's good to be yourself. Um, you know, be prepared to be in a small model apartment with a lot of girls. Um, that's one thing we all have to experience. Um, but, you know, um, just stay strong, be yourself, and um, then you should be able to do well in New York. The reason that models, model apartments are, are you know, sort of a, an important asset is um, you, before you're making money, you don't want to spend all your money on housing, and New York is an expensive place to live. So um, mo modeling agencies have model apartments where um, you live in kind of, it's kind of like camp, sort of, and um, everyone's going on appointments. It's, you really, um, but your rent is really cheap. So you live with a lot of girls who are all doing the same thing. They're all with the same agency. Um, so, you know, sometimes you have the same casting, sometimes you don't. But, you know, it's basically provided for you so that you don't have to go to all the expense of getting your own apartment in New York City by yourself. Plus, you really, it's hard to be in New York by yourself when you first move it here is, the very yeah. first time. Yeah. You miss your family. And yeah, definitely. It was nice having a bunch of girls from my agency who, who were all going through the same thing. And, um, you know, we would cook our meals together. Yes, we, some had the same casting, some had different, but it was a base that we could all go to. And, you know, what's great is when you, if you do travel, um, you know, you're not paying for rent when you're not there. So that was a key thing, you know you're able to just get up and go, which is, I think, one of the best things about the model apartments, for sure. New York is a huge city. There's tons of people. You're not driving in a car, you're walking. Sometimes you, you know, for modeling, when you're first starting, you're doing a lot more walking because you're not just going to one job, you're going on castings. So you want to wear comfortable shoes, um, you know, have high heels with you. You're taking public transportation. Sometimes, you know, the subways are, it's really, you know, hot and you're trying to get someplace really quickly. So, I, I don't know, there's not, public transportation is in every, in every city in your hometown. So how hard was learning the yeah, subway? Yeah, I mean, I definitely relied on my iPhone and the Maps app. Um, that really helped me, you know, I tried to plan my night before and map everything out and have, you know, directions from casting one to two, two to three and so on. Um, I mean, it got a little messed up if there was a casting that was added last minute, but generally I tried to um, have an idea of where I was going so I could get there quickly. I would always um, always bring a bag with me with my heels, my book, some makeup, hairbrush, snacks, um, healthy snacks. It's not easy to eat healthily on the go. Um, and just be as prepared as you can be. Yes, there's going to be last minute things that are thrown your way, but you have to be flexible and know your city. That's really important. If they send you a casting and tell you you have to be there in 10 minutes, you have to try and get there as soon as possible because it could be a job for you. Mm -hmm.